Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one two and three the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy sensuous provocative love story about human evolution but what I want to talk to you about today is my spirit doll reading with President Trump and President Obama this is a past life reading for President Trump and President Obama. I have had this video done for a while, but I've been really afraid to release it because I know how people, I don't know, I'm just, but for me, when I don't do what I'm being led to do, then I, I become creatively stuck. I can't do anything else. So I am going to share this spirit doll past life reading with President Trump and President Obama. Um, just for the record, I just like for everybody to know, I am too, I don't want to say insane. I don't know if that's a good word, but I personally don't, I do vote, but I don't believe in elections. I don't, I believe, um, and I'm just going to share a short story for those who care to even hear it. But basically, I've sat on committees before where it was a government requirement that we uh, let, you know, let somebody know that the position was available in patents and previous jobs. And, but we already had our candidate picked out. And I feel like if we would do that for a small organization to just, you know, play the game, so to speak, but um, know who we already want, and have everybody come in for a position as big as the president of the United States. I I don't know. I just child wouldn't be surprised if they haven't dinner together. Okay, that's that's just how I truly think. So, um, like I said, this is a past life reading for President Trump and President Obama. It's about their relationship, what happened between them, um, what is causing the animosity today. I hope you enjoy this uh, short reading. And also, I made these spirit dolls, and I just want everybody to know that I treat my dolls with the utmost respect, meaning that I believe they're very powerful beings. And um, I try, I, I make sure that I don't do anything that's in, a, that in my mind that would be spiritually unethical to either one of them. They are filled with gemstones and oils and herbs um, to help me communicate with them. In the video, I didn't expect them to. That was actually a trial video. I had just completed their, their Renaissance outfits and I was just messing around and they just, you know, it just everything just fell out. So I didn't want to re-record it because I thought it would lose its authenticity. I really hope you enjoy this past life reading. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment box below if it's not too evil. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As you can see, these are Renaissance clothing that I made the outfits for President Obama and for President Trump for this past life reading. I enjoyed making their outfits so much. I don't know if people know, but um, yeah, I majored in medieval history, one of my master's degrees. One of my, but anyway, let's get ready for the reading. Thank you. Hello, darlings. In this video, President Obama and President Trump are going to discuss a past life of when they were, you know, I'm going to do a past life reading for a Trump and Obama. And we are going to look at what's going on. So basically, there's a lot of division in America, and I think amongst the people. And I believe that there was a past life relationship between Trump and between Obama that where things need to be worked out. And there needs to be an understanding. So first, I'm going to talk to President Trump. 
um, in this dollar reading. So, Mr. Trump, Mr. Uh, President Trump, what happened in a previous relationship with Obama that you that has contributed to the acrimony in our country? Would you say? Um, so basically, what Trump is saying to me um, in this reading is that in a previous lifetime, he and Obama were best friends and they were in a fighting in a, in a war together and he was shot. He was injured, right? And Obama um, at, left you for dead and you you didn't die right away you lingered for a couple days is that the information is being conveyed to me so you say that you linger for a couple that couple of days and you could you were paralyzed and you could feel the um, animals and insects and you could hear people um, bodies being thrown upon you and you felt that he should have at least um, done the merciful thing, but you couldn't believe that he actually left you there. Is that what you're? Is that what you're saying? So he says that's what happened. So Obama, um, I like to ask you in this reading if if this is true. Do, is this what happened? What Obama is saying to me is that this did happen and he felt he didn't he thought that he you know was no longer with us and you left and you felt really really bad that that happened and you um you remember that incident so you both remember the incident so is there anything that either one of you could do in terms of healing this country, in terms of letting go of what happened in the past to make life better for Americans today? So um, what I'm picking up from Trump is he's saying that after being left by his best friend and to have those there were days before he died like he doesn't remember the exact time but he remembered there was nightfall at least twice be you know that and that injured him and this is why he has been a person who feels like he's gonna do whatever he has to do to win and to be successful is and you feel like um that really changed the trajectory of your soul and your outlook on life and how you deal with people yes okay so this is the message that he's saying so mr um president trump is there anything that obama can do in terms of apologizing to you um you know is there anything that can be done to heal the soul of this nation Um, so the message I'm picking up is that Trump is saying that he has made peace with what happened and he doesn't really feel like um, an apology is actually going to help. So President Obama, what would you like to say? Um, I would... It bothered me. It changed my life when I left my best pal there. It it was the reason why I wanted to bring health care. It's one of the reasons I wanted to help people um, in my next lifetimes is because of leaving my best friend, of feeling helpless, of feeling of not being able to help 
one of my dearest and best friends. It changed my traje- trajectory as well. It made me want to give and help as many people as I could. And um, I've spent so much of my life trying to help people in need because I couldn't help you, because I couldn't help you. And I was wondering if you could forgive me. Um, if you can forgive me for, um, I, you know, as you know, it was a really bad war and that I, we are trained to keep moving and to keep, um, you know, to keep going. But um, I would like for us to make up. So President Trump and President Obama are making up on a soul level. I want you both to hug each other, okay? I want you to hug each other. So we have it here, guys. For the record, we have Obama and we have President Trump and they are making up. Brother, and Eric, I accept your apology. I'm so sorry that happened and we both were doing the best that we could. Okay. I feel better getting that behind us. It's going to be okay. So, basically, um, now we understand what happened. They both have um, made up, right? Okay, yes. Yes, they made up. Okay. Is there anything you would like to say to the people? Um you know, is there any message you would like for me to convey to the public? President Obama wants everyone to focus on making sure that you give back and that you help other people and that you do your best and that we're all here together and he feels that what happened to him made him pretty much want wanting to give as much as he could to humanity to, to contribute and president trump do you have a message that you would like to give to the people um president's trump message is i know that there are a lot of people who who may not always agree with me but the thing that I want most people to understand is that what you do on a daily basis is going to be more important than what you do on one day or who's in leadership or who's in power. It's what you do with your, your time and what you do with your energy, how you proceed about going about your dreams and your life, that is the big the biggest the most important thing you can do. So I'm gonna say, yes, it's good to be selfless, and yes, it's good to help people, but it's also important to focus on what it is you really want and to make sure that you're spending your energy and your time on you and your dreams, because then it won't. Because who's in office will change, but what you do today to take action towards your dreams and goals is going to be more impactful in your life. Obama, would you like to add to what Trump has said? I um, I agree with what he is saying and um, I do think that everyone should, you know, do as much as they can to help each other and, and like Trump said, we should, you know, focus on what we can do ourselves on a daily basis to be our highest and best self. Okay. All right, guys. You have it right here. Um, and these, with these spirit dolls, we have President Obama and President um, Trump burying a hatchet from a previous lifetime misunderstanding, which is going to bring about a healing to this country. And um, you heard it here on this channel. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.